In today's video, me and my friend Isaac, we share why online courses do not work. I believe between me and him, we literally have over a hundred courses that we have bought and taken. But after doing all that, we have learned this important lesson. And this is what we're going to share with you in this video. We're going to hear a special story from Isaac where he shares how it took him three years to learn e-commerce and finally get the breakthrough he was looking for by applying the things we're going to talk about in this in this video. He then shares how he was able to help one of his students get a breakthrough in under three weeks. It took him three years. He was able to help his student get a breakthrough in three weeks by applying what you're going to share in this video. So guys, please remember to like, comment and share the video. We would highly appreciate it. Please also remember that you can also get a free one-on-one -on -one coaching. There's, there's still some few slots open for that. So if you're interested, please uh, scroll down. you find a WhatsApp number, what, uh, send a WhatsApp to that number so that you can be able to qualify for the free one-on-one -on -one coaching and get that breakthrough that you've been looking for. I hope you're excited, guys. I'm super excited to share this video with you. And let's do this. Helping high-ticket info business owners scale. So it's for you if you sell courses, coaching, or any type of advice, basically. And we teach you how to scale using email newsletters, YouTube organic, and YouTube ads. These are the traffic sources. And we teach you how to sell masterminds for recurring fees instead of courses and coaching for one-time fees. Okay, I'm going to stop there, brother. Ne? So now he speaks about <clears throat> um, substituting free courses for masterminds and his reasoning is with courses you get a one-time fee but with masterminds you get recurring fees so what what are your thoughts about that yeah um what i think is i think one time obviously a recurring business model is is more sustainable Whereas if you're only charging once, you have to keep looking for clients all the time. Uh, or you have to have a a, 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 a serious back end to make money from the same people. So, so um, obviously the caring is a better model because it's more sustainable. That's how I feel. Uh, the only thing is uh, with masterminds, they, they, I, I do understand they have to be high ticket. They have to be high ticket because um, I don't see how uh, you would be, you know, somebody would be able to make a living if they don't make it a high ticket product. That, that's how I feel. Yeah, but you know what's what's also amazing about what he's teaching, right? Yeah. In the past, the reason for high ticket, why most people move to high ticket, was to justify the high cost of customer acquisition, the high cost of advertisement, right? But what's crazy about what he's saying, if you look at the three, three traffic sources he's mentioning, he's speaking about YouTube organic, email newsletters. These are all free traffic sources. The only time, the only thing you pay for is YouTube ads, you know, so you know so what what are your thoughts around that i i think it's an i think it's a great strategy um it's a strategy i've tested in the past uh i i believe that it works mm. because i think the the whole idea about it is if you run if you put up enough organic um content out there and you let's say you put out uh, 50 videos High, okay. uh, high quality videos out there on YouTube. And, and uh, one video out of those 50 videos, um, let's say half of them get decent amount of views, some 10 views each. And out of those, out of, out of those ones, uh, you're able to get maybe uh, something like 25 leads. And out of those 25 leads, you convert three. If you find out that 
all those three videos, all those three leads that you converted were actually from one video. Then you can actually boost, you can actually use that video as your YouTube ad and start, you know, optimizing. So I think it's a great, it's a great strategy. Instead of like running a video that you think people are going to resonate with and they don't. Okay, so you, you, you're looking at it from a point of testing to find. Yeah, I, I think it's a perfect way to to to, to start pl- split testing without without actually spending money on ads. That's what I think. Yeah, because w- one thing he also mentions is um, he's been out of the game for two years now, right? He just came back recently, yeah. a few, a few, like last month. So from last month to the last two years, he had no, uh, he has not been running ads. He has not been uh, doing YouTube organic videos, nothing, brother. But he says in that interim, he's been getting clients like crazy because of organic, of YouTube organic. Because he says if you put up one YouTube mm-hmm. video, it doesn't go away. It still drives traffic the next five, ten years. And that's, he says basically that's what he's, that's what he has been surviving on all this time. Hence, he's pushing mm-hmm. YouTube organic because he says one, because most times if you look at Facebook, if you make a Facebook video, you know, after three, four days, no traffic has been, it's been, uh, in, there's no traffic being driven to it, right? But YouTube is different, evergreen traffic. Yeah, no, no, I, I do understand the whole free traffic. Uh, I'm not really much of a free traffic fan. Mm-hmm. Because because sometimes uh, it's good when you don't have the money to advertise. It's very good to start with free traffic because obviously you have the time to, to, to do it. But the thing about depending on free traffic sometimes is you can you can lose out on on um, on having to scale. So, uh, what, what what was his first traffic source? Like for for an example, I'll say let's say he's running organic YouTube ads, right? I'm saying to, according to him, he gave us three traffic sources, right? What was his first traffic yeah. source? What was the first traffic um, source mentioned? Uh, I think he's. I think he said uh, organic YouTube. Isn't it organic YouTube or what? Was look, look, look. Uh, can you see marketing? the screen? Can Can you see the screen? The second bullet Let's on check. the screen. Yeah, he says uh, email. Yeah, email marketing. So he's using newsletters. Yes. So why and is it organic email? YouTube? Why email newsletters? He already has a list. He already has a list. But does that answer your concern, maybe, of dependency? Um. For for me, I would I would say I I do. I understand. I understand. I understand the formula. Okay. But we can uh, uh, I I I don't think we have to depend completely on free traffic. Like um, for a lot of people, for a lot of people who don't have lists, uh, running ads is very important. That, that's how I feel. But then, how do you how do you how do you work around the trust issue or the brand issue? I think it's 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 more about uh, the quality of content you put out. That's what I think. You know, if you put out good stuff that resonates with a lot of people, and you gain some traction, um, people will people will will vote. They will vote. You're right. They'll but, opt um, your list. But I think you're right, brother. But um, I like his strategy in that it covers all your concerns mm. because he doesn't say email newsletters are the thing. He doesn't say YouTube organic is the thing. He doesn't say YouTube yeah. ads are the thing because all of them I think yeah. cover every every part of of of, of uh, traffic. You run ads. Mm. You do organic. Uh, you do email to have control over your list. You know, so it covers. Mm. All the base, all the bases, right? For 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 me, how I would actually 
put this out. I'd say I put the first one as your YouTube organic. And then from your YouTube organic, because I'm looking yeah. at it, let's Get say somebody is getting into this. Somebody's getting into this without a list. With a, he's a newbie. Somebody who, oh. who, who doesn't know yes. nothing, right? Mm -hmm. So I'd say you put out great content and you build a list. Correct. Yes. Right? And then and then you nurture the list with your email marketing. And while you're nurturing that list, you 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 monitor your your organic videos and you find out which ones uh, are giving you a home run, which ones are, are giving you the best results. And then you you start running ads, you know, uh, running your best videos as your YouTube ads. So that's how I see it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try to put it on the whiteboard. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's how that's okay. that's how um, I see the whole thing coming together. Let, let me do this quickly, brother. Um, mm. So you saying you would reorganize the list, right? But you say the list is fine, right? Yeah, so the, if the I do understand you correctly, you say uh, this is the traffic sources. Obviously, they lead to what? What? What are you driving your traffic to? So you say they're leading to number one will be organic, right? Number two would be email, right? And number three would be yes. YouTube ads, right? Yes. Let uh, me know if I'm right, brother. You said this must be yeah. YouTube ads, right? No, number you said one, YouTube organic. Number one is YouTube organic. Yes. And then you said number number two should be email newsletters, right? Yes. And then number three should be youtube ads that's where you scale yes. right yeah exactly yeah i want to make sure i understand you brother okay that, cool. that's a, and that's then what the best what, what are these traffic sources uh, trying to achieve because obviously we are driving them to something are we not or according to you your youtube organic should be driving to email okay should, i should be getting yes. uh, giving people a reason to give me their email addresses, right? With the email yes. addresses, I should be driving them to something. What am I driving them to? Yes, yes. And then, um, and then if I do understand correctly, yeah. your your YouTube mm -hmm. ads should drive also to email, right? And then, like you said, we use your, 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 your email to to take care of your list and eventually make them to get somewhere. So what is this thing that you're driving them to? So uh, in the past, obviously what a lot of people used to, what a lot of people would use is your tripwire, the free report, right? Okay. Uh, a free course. And even based on what he's saying, is this stuff don't work anymore. Okay. People are just so tired of your, your, your free reports your um free courses right that don't really add value right okay people and the future i think the future of high ticket maybe this can work for like a five dollar five dollar course you if you send somebody a free course or a free report and you try upsell them a five dollar report a five dollar uh, course yeah maybe it'll work but if we're talking about high ticket this has to lead to uh it, it has to whatever you wherever you're sending a client i believe i believe wherever we're sending our client or our potential client it has to be it has to create great customer experience it can't just be it, it cannot just be like a, something simple like a free report or oh, should be it okay. has to be a free consult it can be a free consultation okay so it should be um the free consultation be, uh, but obviously right so that's that's depending the point. on the volume you're getting, obviously, yeah. you're getting them on a free consultation either face to face or via zoom or via the telephone but it's a free yeah. consultation it, 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 it has to it has to be something of uh, high quality obviously um if 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 you have a lot of if you if you have a lot of if you if your list is huge and you're running ads in the beginning when you're running organic let's let's say when you're running your first 
your, your organic uh, uh, YouTube videos. In the beginning, you, you won't have a lot of those people. So you probably will be able to handle it, like do a telephone uh, or a Zoom consultation or whatever. But once you find your winning videos and you start scaling, that's when you're going to get like maybe about 100 leads a day. So you have to, now, based on the, the intelligence you, you, you gathered from your first few prospects, you'll be able to send them to a qualification page. Because now what you want, you don't want to waste a lot of time on the phone. You have that intelligence now. So you yeah. send them to a qualification page. Man, you're killing and me. And then those yeah. and then those who those who uh those who who, who who qualify, you get them on the phone for the free consult, you know. Okay. I hear you, brother. So, so let me know if let me know if I'm doing it right. Yeah. Let me know if I'm doing it right. Okay, so there has to be some form of uh, qualification. Let me know if, let it can me know be if a one page. Right. Yes. Yeah. No, it's right. It's right. Yeah. So and the, your right qualification is right. right. It's correct. So, so your qualification. Yes. Your qualification page. It doesn't have to be like complicated. It can just be a one page with a with a with a clear a benefit, a clear benefit like your headline of exactly what they're going to achieve, exactly what they're going to get. And then under that headline, to be able to qualify to get that benefit, they have to fill in that maybe a five, a five, five questions, answer five questions, you know? But the whole reason is you want to filter the tire kickers and end up with people who are worth your time on the phone. You know, that's, that's the whole idea there. So, so that's, is, that's how I see it. That's is the, this correct? Did I outline it correctly? Or is there anything? This, yeah, this is correct. Th this is correct, yeah. Yeah. That's how I see so, it. Yeah. So you're saying if someone, because obviously Sam Ovens here is speaking to people who are scaling, he's speaking to people who yeah. already have businesses and they just want to X, 2x or 3x or 5x whatever they're making right so you yes. you are speaking mostly to newbies people who are getting started right and they want people to sell with high no ticket. list they want yes. to sell high ticket right so exactly so according to you what what is high ticket according to me uh, i would say um uh, high ticket this is how i would actually measure high ticket Okay. I'd measure high ticket as um, uh, something that you can charge. The amount of money that you can charge for a for a product or a service, right? Versus the value that you can give. So that's how I measure it. Because obviously, if I charge you ten thousand dollars. I charge you ten thousand dollars, right? Yeah. But then I give you zero value. Then we call that scamming, right? So I just <laughs> scam you, right? And if I if I charge you ten thousand dollars and I give you uh I give you a free report, right? Then we what we call that? We call that uh Borderline scamming because yeah, you gave me something, <laughs> but I can probably download this thing for free or, or from Google, right? Yeah. Right? So obviously, you have to you have to ask yourself what is it that I can I can pro what value can I provide to make sure that this person walks away with a smile and will not give will not ask for a refund. Basically, that's how that's that, that's how you. You, you uh, reason it. Okay. But, How can I make um, sure that? Yeah. And and the best way to do that is to is to create your product in such a way that your product, uh, your product itself, mm. gives your 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 customer an experience and an amazing experience. Because 
when a customer goes through an amazing experience, they forget, they, they, they don't care about refunds. They don't care about, they, they feel like they're getting somewhere. They feel like there's progress, they're going somewhere. You know, you, you put in, it's like a customer journey. You're, you're taking them on an adventure. And that's what you want to do, you know? But not just so, an adventure, an adventure yes. where they're getting value in return. Mm. That's, so that's the I, whole idea. I think with with online courses, you know, yeah, we've all felt one time or another after buying the course with no refund policy mm. that now nah, this was not what I was promised, right? And sometimes some people will actually not put refund policies on their courses. Now you can't say. I want my money back, right? But I think, yeah, I, th I think, I think online courses had had their time. They had their time, uh, like fifteen years ago, you know, fifteen years, twelve years ago. I think online courses were great for that period in time, and you could actually sell high ticket online courses for like five thousand dollars, and give somebody a downloadable uh, video. Right, yeah. a series of downloadable videos, and it used to, it, it, it was great. People, yeah, there were some refunds, but it was great. It worked for that period of time. But when in, in today's time, if you're going to charge high tickets, you're competing with Udemy, which has millions of courses, right? You're competing with you know all these uh, teachable and all these. Uh, places who are selling courses for where people are selling high quality content high quality content yeah for cheap for like ten dollars for like twelve dollars fifteen dollars high quality content so how how would you separate yourself from from all these people because somebody would go let's say buy your course for for two thousand dollars or five thousand dollars and then they go and they get more or less the same kind of content or similar content from Udemy for like fifteen dollars. How do you how do you separate yourself from the fifteen dollar guy? But, but, but the, the weird thing with the info info marketing industry, brother, is that people don't shop for content that like they would shop for you know electronic gadgets. You know, was you know a mouse is a mouse, earphones are earphones, right? But yeah. I've seen that anyway, anyway for me when it comes to content its value has to do with uh, how it helps me right mm. i don't know if, if you get what i mean it doesn't matter you know because if you remember frank Kern would probably make these little courses if you look at frank mm. Kern's courses they were not like long and you know right? yeah. you can probably consume that thing in, in half a day but you know the the quality of the content like you said the the impact it would have in my life, I would say, wow, man, you know, yeah, it's worth yeah. it. It's, it. It had nothing to do with how long or, or if it was a, if he was the first person to say it, but it was mm. about the promise he made and the results he gave and my ability yeah. to implement. For me, anyway, that's that's where the value is when it comes to content. No, I agree. I I, I completely agree with you. All I'm just saying is um, that I think there are two groups of people when we have to look at it like this. There are people who are info junkies. Now, info junkies are people who are out there consuming courses, but making little to no action. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And and these are people you these are people who will search online. They'll go searching online. And, and they'll find Udemy courses. And these are not people we want to sell to. These are not, normally these are not people who you want to sell high ticket products to. Yes. Because like I said, they're info junkies. They think they want, they think they want to make an impact in their lives, but they, uh, they value information more than they value action. Correct. So they end up with a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, PDF files, a lot of, uh, you know, on their lab in their libraries, uh, courses in their libraries, okay. and it makes them feel good that oh, I, I know this me, stuff now, I know this stuff, right? Let me ask you something, bro. But now, 
Mm. I, I just want to close this quickly. Yes. Understand. But now, the, the kind of people that we're looking for, we're looking for people who know very little, but people who are action takers. That, okay. Those are, 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 perfect, are perfect candidates. Yes. Because those are people who are more likely to get results when you educate them. So I just wanted to ask you a question quickly. Man. Okay, yeah. so we the target for this meeting is 40 minutes. So we're going to try to. So we are left with like eight minutes. We've charged okay, the 40 okay, minutes yeah, already. Because yeah. I don't want to want <laughs> to go for too long and then we get to bed too. Right, no, that, no, so I just want to ask you one last question. How, how, how would it... How do you think when your life would have been impacted if you would have received coaching in the beginning instead of online courses? I think I'd have saved myself a lot of money. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's one. I think I'd have saved myself a lot of money. One, I could have saved myself a lot of time, a lot of years. That's two. And... Um, I think I would have gotten the results faster. So obviously, mm. wow. Um, because what I realize is that there's nothing wrong with these courses. It's just that it's like out of you, you buy something like fifty courses, and it's all like buying one puzzle at a time. It's like buying one puzzle at a time. That's what it's like. It's gonna take you fifty courses. You're gonna have to go through something like uh, uh, five. 600 videos of YouTube videos and and online courses and extract all the value from them and piece it all together until you, you get the full picture. I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, you know. That's how it feels like for me. Wow. And I, I feel like if, if I had a, a mentor right from the beginning, a mentor would say, you know what, forget about everything else. I'm already making this kind of money, right? And I'm going to give you a roadmap. I'm going to give you a basically like a, like a, you know, like a, tre a treasure map. And I'm gonna give you action steps, exactly what to take, you know, action steps for you to take, and and all the points that you have to you know target from point one to point twelve or whatever, so that you can be where I am, or, or as close as possible to where I am today. Okay, I so, think if there, yeah. was, if there was such a solution, wow. if there was such a solution, mm -hmm. and I knew about it back then, I think probably I would have... <laughs> so, yeah. So you're saying, brother... I don't, I, I, don't want, I don't want to talk about the opportunity cost. <laughs> I understand that. But, what, what, okay, we need to close this. So just to summarize yeah. what you said. You say... Um, coaching or sometimes masterminds, they they make uh, they are they are more impactful than online courses. And if someone is getting started, your advice to them would be get a coach, get into a mastermind, and that's gonna help you get results quicker, right? Than buying online courses, because online courses are like puzzles. They're only gonna give you one piece of the puzzle, not the whole picture. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. Okay. Right. I'm, 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 I'm confident about it because also when I did the e-com thing, I, I, I ran an e-com, a short e-com mastermind thing. Okay. And, and it took me three years to get my breakthrough in the e-com space. But the, my first, my first student, I got her results within the first two weeks. That's so, crazy, brother. <laughs> So if, if you think if you think about it, the amount of time I spend, the amount of time and money I spend consuming content and you know trying to get my breakthrough is three years. But I was able to to get somebody to get you know getting their breakthrough in two weeks. Right? How much is that worth? So obviously uh, you know uh, masterminds and and you know workshops. You know, uh, they are more valuable than than just throwing somebody with a PDF file, or or throwing somebody with a book, or throwing somebody with a, a, a library of videos and asking them to find their way. Wow, brother. So I think we're gonna close it on this high note, brother. I think you crushed it today. 
Thank you for that, brother. And, all right, bro. and I just want to say to all the guys, all, all the people who are listening, that, you know, they have a very special opportunity to get a free one-on-one coaching with me and you, where, you know, you can actually help them get these breakthroughs in a short amount of time. What? Versus when they would have to sit hours and hours watching YouTube videos and trying to put the puzzle together themselves. Right? Any any final thoughts, brother? That's true. Before we close. No, that, I think that's uh, that's all that I have <clears throat> to say. Um, but, uh, you know, if you really want to if, if there's anything, I think, I think, I think the reason we're put on this earth, number one reason we're put on this earth is self-discovery. Well, I think that's the number one reason, hmm. right? And 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 if you really want to change your life, you have to change, you have to change yourself. And there's no price tag to put on on self-discovery. You can't put a price tag. Oh, bro. Go out there and make and and you know, and make. And Easy. develop yourself. Yeah, that's what that's what I have to say. <clears throat> but I think also to add to on what you said, self discovery is that you know when when you figure yourself out, and when you figure out a way to add value to yourself and to other people, that that gives you immense freedom, right? In your life, you are able that's to true. be free, right? Yes. Versus when you when, when you don't add value to yourself, add value to other people, then you become a slave mm. to your circumstances and everything else around you. So thank you, brother. I think that's it for today. And we'll we'll talk again tomorrow in the next video. Okay. Sure. Let's let's do that. Sure, brother. Sure.